Rodney Hill and Monica dated for several years from November 2000 to March 2010. The R&B singer got very emotional as she spoke about her failed romance with ex-fiance Rodney Rocco Hill, the father of her two sons. I think a lot of my life changes have become so complex and difficult. I had two children. I stayed in that relationship a long time and he was a loss on both levels. Monica would meet two troubled men she thought she could save who would forever alter her life. According to ABC News, her first real love was Corey Miller, a rapper whose stage name was C Murder, a name which would resonate with irony when he was arrested for the murder of a 16-year-old boy. Corey is in jail in Louisiana, but Monica says she is certain he's innocent. That's just not the person I know, and I know for a fact that he's innocent, she said. Monica's choice in men would prove even more lethal the next time. She would meet and fall for Jarvis Weems, a 25-year-old drug dealer. Monica said Weems' life was difficult. He was brought up, you know, in an area where people do whatever they have to do to survive, she said. Survival in that world, Monica said, drove Weems to make choices that were illegal. He kept me very sheltered from a lot of stuff that was going on, even though I would never pretend that I was not aware. Don't get me wrong, I would never pretend that I was not aware, she said. But then Weems would bring Monica face to face with unspeakable horror. It was July 18, 2000. Weems called Monica from a phone in his car. He told her he was on his way to the cemetery where his brother was buried and that he wanted to, quote, be with him. He was very somber, and that's when I knew that his mind was made up, Monica said. Weems had decided to take his own life. Monica arrived at the cemetery and stood pleading, but he had locked his car door. Monica saw that he had a gun in the car. She recalled he said a lot of things, which I feel are definitely only for me. The most important thing that he said was that he loved me, and that nobody ever tried the way I tried. After more than an hour of talking, Jarvis abruptly rolled up the car window, turned away from Monica, reached down, and in one swift move, put the gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Monica ran to the car with her own gun, blew out the window of the car, unlocked the door. She was determined to save him. I continued talking to him. I continued telling him that I loved him. God loved him and it was going to be okay. When I asked him, did it hurt, you know, he tried to say something back, but I touched him and I could still feel life in him. And that allowed me not to give up, she said. It took 20 minutes for the paramedics to arrive. Monica says she knows the reason why Weems committed suicide, but says she won't reveal it. She said, I'll never tell anybody why, because he didn't tell it. He didn't leave a note. He didn't call home. He told me and it'll stay with me until we see each other again. She was flashing a huge engagement ring on Twitter after her relationship with former L.A. Laker Shannon Brown went from 0 to 100 real quick. She expected she was going to receive a lot of backlash. She responded with a message on Twitter acknowledging everyone who had an opinion about her fast-moving romance. Within the post, she said, We know who we are. We pray to an awesome God together. Trouble began brewing almost immediately. Just a short time after they met, the former Los Angeles Laker played Monica's love interest in her music video, Love All Over Me. Monica and Shannon met in the summer of 2010. In June 2010, Shannon was still involved with a woman named Charday, whom he also shares a son with. Charday was even by his side during the Lakers championship parade, which is why a lot of people were confused. So it's possible that the R&B singer had been the other woman all along. Shannon addressed the allegations via Twitter. He wrote, She is in no way a homewrecker. I understand parenting requires a partnership with my son's mother. However, the relationship between us fizzled a long time ago. 
Maybe it was the truth and things with Charday were simply platonic. But this wouldn't be the last time he would be labeled as a cheater. When they got engaged, Monica was 29 and Shannon was only 24. Most people didn't see this as a problem. Others thought his age, along with his career as a professional basketball player, access to a lot of money and rupees would cause some issues. In 2016, Monica shared with The Breakfast Club how other basketball wives warned her about the stories and the lies that would flood the gossip magazines. But nothing would prepare her for what was to come. Shannon told Monica on the first day they met that he would marry her in six months. In November 2010, he fulfilled his promise in an intimate wedding ceremony in Los Angeles. They had a second ceremony for family and friends. Right after they celebrated their two-year wedding anniversary, a woman by the name of Corey Zenobia exposed some old messages. In the messages, Shannon was pursuing the woman, but there was never any confirmation that they actually met up. Still, things were not looking that great for Monica. And this was just one of many cheating allegations to come. In September 2013, Monica gave birth to their daughter. Joining Monica's two sons from a previous relationship and Shannon's child from a previous relationship. It marked a joyous time in the Brown household, but it would be short-lived. In April 2016, a woman contacted Blog Industry on Blast and accused Shannon of sliding into her DM. The woman said the basketball player flew her out for two days so they could hook up. And he allegedly admitted to her that he was not happy in his marriage. That same year, Industry on Blast also reported that Shannon had gotten a woman named Tammy pregnant and that he was the father of her two-year-old child. Monica denied the allegations. In 2016, Monica admitted to The Breakfast Club that she was hesitant to get serious with Shannon when they first met because of her past experiences with dealing with infidelity and other women. She said she had her guard up. She said she was very nervous about moving things forward, but she couldn't understand why he was so afraid. Monica figures it was her intuition trying to warn her. In 2018, Monica was spotted out and about without her wedding ring. In March of 2019, Shannon posted a message on Instagram, mysterious in nature, reminding himself to protect the peaceful place he had created in his life. The very next day, it was reported that Monica had filed for divorce earlier that same month, citing irreconcilable differences. Their divorce was finalized in October 2019. Monica made headlines in August 2020 when she enlisted Kim Kardashian West to help push for the release of C. Murder, who has maintained his innocence. His case has earned renewed attention after two witnesses recanted their testimonies in 2018, alleging that law enforcement officials pressured them into their statements, per ABC News. The tone of Monica's post about his legal woes have sparked speculation that they might get back together in the future. Monica has not directly commented on the rumors, though she made flirty comments about the rapper in her versus battle against Brandy on August 31st. I don't know what God holds for either of us, but Corey and I will be the best of friends until the day I die. She added to Vibe. Thanks for watching guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys real soon in the next video. Bye!